Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, um, I'm at the shop right now. The M3 is at home. I'm gonna be basically talking to you guys of what's going on with the M3 as soon as I get back. But real quick, we're gonna go diagnose Devon's car. So we got the laptop. We're just gonna figure out why there's a whole bunch of airbag faults and see if it needs a new module or just see if it needs to get coded. So let's just hook it up, figure out what's going on. All right, Nick just told me he doesn't have access to a computer, but he's gonna help me run through this. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to see if I can go ahead and diagnose it or maybe even code this module. It's gonna be kind of crazy. This is crazy shout out to nick for teaching me this stuff i'm still learning guys i'm texting him right now all right guys i just went ahead and coded in the airbag module let's see devon's reaction when he sees no airbag lights i just want to see his reaction right here hey what's up what's up hey doing homework oh yeah. um do you see what's going on here Yeah. Oh, is it off? <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Oh, damn. That's weak, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't even see what was going on. All right, guys, so we finally got the airbag coded out. There's no lights on the dash other than a TPMS. So we'll call the TPMS another day. But shout out to Nick for going out of his way. I saw he FaceTiming, he was with his family, and they were just like on a vacation. And he FaceTimed, he's like, yo, let me, can I just tell you like step by step? I'm like, dude, Nick, you can do this later. He's like, nah, it's really easy. I was like, all right. So he showed me how to code out the airbag light, which is super cool. Um, we actually didn't code out the airbag light. We actually uh, reprogrammed the module that was in there. So the airbags are blown, a new module was put in, and we just recoded the new module. So that worked out perfectly. Now Devon can actually register this car. He has to be seeing a whole lot more on this channel because that is a sick 335. And I think it's like full bolt-on, catalyst down pipes, exhaust and everything. So it should be pretty sick. I want to do some clips with the 435 and the 335, so you guys will be seeing that soon. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking some things or take it back home. Because I'm meeting up with a few other people, and I'll let you guys know what's going on. All right, guys, so I'll catch you guys when we get back. Uh, we'll, we'll let you guys know what's going on with the E36 M3. And I'm meeting up with someone for a camera and just a couple of things. Let me show you guys what's actually going on with the channel. Guys, so we are officially back home. You guys can see, honestly, the sunset right now is just looking so beautiful with the two cars. This is what I really, really, really enjoy is these builds and just how far both builds have come. I'm not really talking too loud because I'm in my neighborhood right now. You guys know that uh, I used to make videos from here. If you guys are new to the channel, this is where I used to make all my videos. Literally I painted a car in that garage, all kinds of crazy stuff. But I have both cars here at home. Finally, I haven't got this E36 here since pretty much the, I think since the first day. I think the first day we drove it back from LA, we parked it here. My parents haven't seen it since. I'm pretty sure they've seen it now. But just check out that front end. Oh my God, that's the oil leak from the X5. You guys remember that car used to leak a quarter night. <laughs> that car was so terrible, but check it out guys. This thing has come such a long way. I was just missing that side piece. I might just get ahead and order it online because the rest of the car is fully put together. And yeah, basically, you guys know what this channel is all about. So you guys know that basically on this channel, what we go, what I go ahead and do is that I purchase a car that looks like neglected. This one was actually supposed to be given away to one of you guys, but the winner ended up taking the cash to buy, a, you know, his own BMW because he lives super far away. And just getting the car to him was very impractical. So went ahead and gave him the money. He purchased his own BMW. Good for him in that aspect. But we are left with this guy. So I've figured you know what might as well restore it make it in really good shape and you know continue the build series on the channel you guys know that right now with the 435 it is currently the car that's staying for a long period of time i can't afford to keep just two cars and purchase another car to keep a build going i mean and get another build going so i have to get obviously let one of these two go so if i have to choose between the two you know, I have to let go of the E36 M3. In terms of details and specs, I'm gonna go ahead and get over this all tomorrow. I actually have an exam due tonight. And there's a lot of things going on with school considering the whole coronavirus and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get all that stuff done tonight, submit it, and I'll, I'll hop back out here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys about the specs, how much the car is gonna be going for, you know, what's the title, do what, you know, if, it, if it's a good buy or not. Because I'm gonna be 100% honest and I'm gonna tell you guys everything about the car. I'm about to head inside, take the exam, wish me luck, see you guys tomorrow. It's just pretty much wish me luck in two seconds because I'll see you guys in like two seconds. And welcome back to day two, guys. So I'm finally out with the, with the 435 and the M3. Let me bring the M3 up here so I can uh, pretty much talk about it more in the driveway rather than on the street. <laughs> there is my M3 E36 and there's my 435 with the crack lip. The lip I'm still working on it, guys, but hopefully it should be coming in soon because uh, 
yeah, I'm not really digging all that cracked stuff right there. But in the meantime, this front end looks really good. I think this color really suits the E36 M3s. Just check out that front end. I can, the headlights came out so good. The smoke, that turn signals. You guys told me the grills were a little off in the last video. I think I pretty much strained it out for the most part. Maybe it's a little bit off, but looks pretty good. So yeah, I don't know if I told you guys yesterday, but today is the day. I'm pretty much gonna be listing up the E36 M3 for sale. I have a project I wanna tackle this summer and I do need to start saving up money now because there's something big I wanna do for the channel. And like I said yesterday, it's one, I have to let go of one of these. I can't have too many cars. The shop, it's not my personal shop there. It's not my personal shop yet. I'm not there in life. Once I get my own shop and I can start storing cars, that'd be great. But as for now, I do have to get rid of the E36 M3. And just some, one of the main reasons why I purchased this car to give away one, to one of you guys in the first place was because of the service you see right here. The engine top end was completely redone at a shop. It wasn't some normal person. It was done at a shop. I don't know how much I could have cost, but I'm sure a couple thousand dollars is probably probably about right. So yeah, right now the engine runs amazingly. Trans, everything is great. Obviously, it's an E36 M3. There's a lot of little things that still needs to be fixed. I pieced together a lot of minor things that need to be fixed, but there's still a lot of minor things that need to be fixed. So the, per the person that ends up purchasing this vehicle does not need to smog this car, mainly because it's already smog. It does currently have a check engine light for the cat, so that does need to be replaced, but if you purchase the car in the next couple weeks, you won't have to deal with that for another two years, so that's good. Coming around to the interior, shout out to Jonathan for detailing it. The carpets, guys, has aged very well. I just cannot believe the interior. As for the rear seats, yeah, those, those do need to get replaced or redone, but for the front seats, we went ahead and put in some bucket and RG seats, which look really good, really comfortable. They really hug you, which is super nice. The dash has aged so well. It has a backup camera. It also has a dash cam. Yeah, like I said, it runs and drives perfectly. The top has also been, looks like it's been replaced, which is super nice. The only downfall is I, I realize there's a motor back here that's missing for the top to go down. So the motor, we do need a motor for the top to go down, unfortunately. But as you guys can see from the actual body of the car, it looks really good. I honestly wish I don't have to let it go. So yeah, without further ado guys, it's not gonna be a super long video. It's gonna be pretty short, straight to the point. The asking price is what I've actually put into it, which is about $4,500 for a perfectly running E36 M3 clean title. This is a clean title, not a salvage. This is kind of those E36 M3s that are really worth restoring, mainly because they're going up in value and I'm only selling it for the price I bought it because I don't like selling it for any more than that is to you subscribers. So as long as I break even, I can continue making content and when you guys get a really good deal on an E36 M3. So without further ado, I'm gonna and throw in a cinematic. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around. Drown in a fight to what? So if you guys are interested, just hit me up on my Instagram. I'll be getting back to everybody. If you guys want to negotiate, that's fine. That's how much I put into it. That's the price I'm selling it. But obviously for you guys, if you guys are local and you want to come by as soon as possible, just give me an offer and I'll see what I can do for you guys. Because again, the whole point of the channel is to save a BMW, sell it, and if I can sell it to one of you guys, I'll be happier with that. When I was searching for an E36 M3, it was super hard to find one that actually came with a title and was legit. This thing actually was legit, past smog. It's currently registered 2020 tags. When you put on your name, you only have to pay like 20 or 30 bucks because I think all you have to pay is like the, the transfer cost. It's already registered, it's already smog. The title is under my name, so I can I can just sign off the pink to one of you guys. And of course, it's a clean title. So if you guys are interested in the vehicle, make sure to hit me up down below. And let me know what kind of future builds you guys wanna see on the channel. I am working on my dealer's license as of now. So hopefully we can start, hopefully we can get back to the whole rebuilding series. But as for now, let's just go ahead and fix up anything we can find off Craigslist. So link me down some cars, guys. Let's see what we can go ahead and save. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. If you guys want to see more mods on the 435, make sure to smash that like button. We got a lot of little things and a lot of big things. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.